feel so guilty when I take even 10 minutes for myself. I lie awake most nights worrying about my sister. I'm so tired during the day. I find myself getting upset by simple things like when my sister calls to tell me how she's doing. I love her so much and I should be glad she's calling, but instead I just feel overwhelmed. I'm supporting my friend through the ups and downs of his treatment journey, but I feel exhausted and stressed most days too. How am I supposed to help when I feel this way? I have so much weighing on me. I work, take care of my kids, and help my mom when her mental illness gets bad. No one understands what I'm going through. These are the voices of people who are providing support to loved ones with mental illness. So often when we provide care for others, we forget to take care of ourselves too. This can lead to burnout, which is caused by physical, emotional, and mental exhaustion. Some signs of burnout are feeling overwhelmed or stressed out and having constant negative self-talk. If you aren't taking care of yourself, it can be difficult to help someone else. Proper self-care is important to ensure you stay healthy and have a good mindset to continue to provide the necessary support to others without burning out from exhaustion and stress. Here are some things you can do to practice good self-care. Move your body. Make sure to move your body every day. Exercise under the direction of your physician is great, but even things like dancing, housework, gardening, or simply going for a walk can help. When you start to feel overwhelmed, sometimes changing your environment for just a little bit can ease some of the stress. I have just been so stressed out. Last week I had a friend come over and help me out just so I could go for a walk. I felt much calmer when I came home. Breathe. You don't have to physically leave to take some time away from stress. Sometimes just taking a few minutes to focus on your breathing can help you feel better and reduce your stress. Yoga and meditation are also great activities that use breathing exercises for self-care. Last week, my dad was having a rough day. When he left his home and got in my car, I was really upset. I started doing some deep breathing exercises. After a few minutes, I felt so much better and I could refocus. Breathing helped to recenter myself before I drove away. Follow a healthy diet. Eating a balanced diet and staying hydrated with water is just as important as any other self-care practice. Talk to your doctor about the right diet for you. I didn't have time to cook every day, so I started to prepare meals ahead of time. It was a relief not to worry about what I was going to eat for each meal. Sleep. With all the demands from daily life on top of being a caregiver, sleep can sometimes be hard to come by. Worrying can keep you up, tossing and turning. It is important to get a good night's sleep so that you feel rested, refreshed and alert. If you are having difficulty sleeping, try to develop a schedule for your sleep. Make a bedtime routine and try to stick to it. Turn off electronics before getting into bed. Reducing caffeine before sleep can help as well. Finally, make your sleeping environment dark, cool and comfortable. I was on my phone too much before I went to bed. I started to put my phone away before I got into bed and I found that I fell asleep peacefully. I've been feeling more rested lately. Build a support network. Being a caregiver can be challenging at times, but building a dependable support network can have tremendous value for your own self-care. It's important to talk to other people, ask questions, or lean on others for emotional support. My husband and I joined a support group in our area for other caregivers, just like us. It helps to talk to others who are going through the same issues we are. It makes us feel like we aren't alone in this. That if other men and women can support their loved ones with mental illness, we can too. Practicing good self-care can be one of the most important things you do as a caregiver. Remember to take time for yourself, be kind to yourself, speak positively to yourself, and acknowledge that your situation can be tough no matter how much you care for the person you are supporting. It is not a weakness to ask for help and support. When you take care of yourself, 
you can better take care of those you love.